Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan, and it's time for Life After Lockup. Let's go. Okay, so Sarah has taken Abby to see Anthony. Anthony is her father. Abby is eight. I think he's seen her twice. Sean is calling on the phone. She's not answering. Does she really think that this baby not going to tell Sean where they've been all day in the park playing with, his, playing with mommy's friend? Sean about to lose his mind. So, Taylor has taken a chance to a financial advisor. And he's told her that he roughly makes about $60,000 a year. Something like that, right? So, she doesn't understand why they don't have any money. Then they're running down everything he's got. He's got a power washer. He hired um, an airplane to tell if the baby was a girl or a boy. Uh, he bought a new truck. And they were like, well, what you do, you should be able to cover that. But it came out. Then when he gets upset about the money he has, he doesn't have, he goes to the casino and spends all the money in the account. So if he has $700, he might spend all of it to try to win it all back. She is upset. So not only is he going to the casino and spending all the money in the bank, he is leaving work early to go to the casino to spend all the money in the bank. But he led with, he buys two drinks, Two for four dollars and some dip and some cigarettes and some vape. Child, I think Blaine is making a very big mistake not telling Lindsay that he's talked to the lawyer and he's gonna get um house arrest because she right here talking about selling stuff in the house and he's trying to tell her he has it covered. This is not gonna end well. Where did Lindsay get all this money to lend out a thousand, fourteen hundred, eighteen hundred? Where did she get the money from? And she stay in trouble. Blaine, you better tell this girl you got house arrest. Child, some kind of way, these two have got a new house. They are furniture shopping, and Eris wants to know where is the money coming from that Cameron is trying to spend. I would like to know that, too. Child, they didn't buy one chair. <laughs> they bought one chair. This is a mess. There is 38 hot about this little tussle that them girls done just had. He is mad. I, I brown her hair all over her head. Elizabeth done broke them $300 nails. This is a mess. Wait, Elizabeth got a BBL? <laughs> Derek is really devastated because he's saying that them doing all this, like the police could have come, and he does not want to go back to jail. And... Abriana's nails are really messed up. Abriana says she did not want Derek in the car and they left Derek in the park. She was like, I am tired of you. And would not let him in the car. He got to call a ride. Blaine's father has met Lindsay. He's taken by Lindsay. He says she's kind of sharp. And then they talked about marriage. And right now, Lindsay is not feeling Blaine because she does not know how he's going to get done what he needs to get done. So Michael has gotten permission to travel. They're going to be relocating to Vegas. I wanted them to come to Texas, but they're going to Vegas. Michael and Justine are still dressed alike, arm fatigue pants and black tops. But now he's talking to Mocha, right? And Mocha wants Michael to come to Vegas alone. It's not going to work with Juju. It's not going to work. Then he said he wants him to take his ring off. That's not going to work with Mike or Juju. Mocha, look, just get him in the booth and let's get the music done. You quit worrying about his marital status. Child Sarah has gotten home with the baby. She told her, told her, like, don't tell him where we were. Then she stumbled through telling him that they were at the park playing. He has set up a sauna in the living room and set the mood. Now, she feels bad because she has been with Anthony all day in the park. Sean doesn't like Anthony, and she's going to have to tell him this. And she's acting so funny. So, she won't get in the hot tub. Sean thinks that she doesn't want to be with him. And he is very upset because he has put in a lot of work. He's mad. Let me say this, and I love Justine. When Michael said with him and his sister was about to go out and do some talking, and he said, no offense, and when Justine said, I was just about to get up and get my coat, I know that's right. Where you going? <laughs> so, Eris' friend Priscilla 
was a former correctional officer. She wants to talk to Cameron. He's going to feel a certain kind of way because Cameron doesn't want anyone telling him anything. Aries has no idea where Cameron is getting this money from, right? So Priscilla, who is the former CO, is like, you need to start asking some questions. Because he had her like an extravagant sunset dinner out on the beach. And he won't tell her where he got his money from because he said his money is his money. Sir, you are married now. That is our money. Lindsay really wants to have a really good relationship with her daughter. And she does really well. Like when she came back that one time before she went right back, like she was almost, her mother was almost about to give her a chance to have her daughter to come and stay with her. But Lindsay got back in trouble and went back on the inside. But she really, she really wants to have a good relationship with her daughter. And I love that. Wait, Blaine ain't about to take his house arrest deal right now. Lindsay is out with her daughter and she doesn't know. That's why he called his daddy over there to have him go over there with him. Lindsay gonna flip her lid. I mean, although Blaine did not talk this over with Lindsay, I think it's better to be in home confinement than actually be in prison, right? Like, Michael didn't realize that his sister could pick up on the things that Justine was saying that, you know, she was tired, she was craving certain things, that she was actually pregnant. And everybody is saying the same thing. Don't you think it's kind of soon to be pregnant? Well, I mean, you know, that's what they wanted. So she's pregnant. Handle it. Mark has gone and bought Justine a $5,000 ring, which is beautiful, right? And he's got to try to put the money back in the bank account. But I love that. And why should she have that ring? Like, she's gone through a lot. Good job, Mike. My boy Chase right here is in some real trouble. So, uh, Taylor is still hot behind knowing that he goes to the casino and spends all the money. So, she goes and gets his phone, right? So, she goes through the phone. She has the password. And I would not get behind anybody going through anybody's phone so then she finds something with girls who are inappropriately in his phone so then she goes and finds the records and sees that he's texting a girl named jess she wants to know who jess is so then she goes to get all of his clothes and puts them outside in the yard and sets fire to them she is not playing Next week, Brittany and Marcelino, the OGs, will be on here, and I cannot wait. It's your girl, Millie Chun. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Millie Chun, and I'm ashamed to say it, but I just got caught up with Snowfall from this season, and it is fantastic. So what I can gather is this. With Jerome and Louie, like, Jerome is ready to get out of this thing. Like, it's wearing on him. It's a lot. It's a lot of people that are being unalived on a rapid basis. Conversations about his family members. He can't take it. But Louie is headstrong. She is about that life, and she is ready to get to it. And I can't wait till next week, because he's going to have that conversation with her. I really hate that Leon and Wanda came back from Africa. Like... When they got ready to go, and she was like, you're not going to let that happen to me again? Like, you've let it happen to me before? And then how they were talking about her in the background before he jumped on Kane about everything they did with Wanda. Like, for the life of me, I don't know why Leon just won't pack up and get back over there to Africa for him and his wife. Because it's a lot going on over here. Then they back in the projects too, and Wanda is getting weaker and weaker by the day. So I don't know who this little CIA man is. Ted is the CIA, right? This may be something else. But you know who I'm talking about, the other little man. But he's trying to get Teddy. Teddy got people feeling like he's no longer in the DEA. Right? And But he is. Gustavo is still loyal to Teddy. And told him what was going on. And they about to get the little CIA man child but teddy has something else he got to deal with so this man right here franklin saint is not playing with nobody this season so last season that i didn't get to watch all of it right last season 
his money was stolen, like $73 million, and Teddy did that. And when he found out that Teddy did that for sure, he is terrorizing Teddy. He went to Teddy's father's home and unalived him. And he said if he don't get his money, he's going to go after his woman, his kid, and everybody he loves. Because Teddy was trying to give him that situation by the a process. Sir, I believe you need to get Franklin his money. Now, who I love is Franklin's baby mama and her mama. They are a duo, aren't they? Those ladies have lived, honey, and they know how to get things done. And her mama gonna make $7 million behind all this stuff she doing. Y'all, I hate this is gonna be coming to an end, but it is so good right now, and I'll see y'all Wednesday night. Bye, y'all. The show is over because Derek and Monique keep fighting. Derek keep putting his hands on Monique, so they're not, they don't want to record with them no more. That's why we're not recording no more. And plus, you know Derek and them are not going to allow me to get on there because they don't want me to steal the show or whatever. But we're not recording because Derek and Monique, Derek keep putting his hands on Monique. I love you, Sue. That's why they're not recording.